What up guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I am covering week 6 of Beyond 531 and so far today was the hardest day. I usually look forward to the 3rd and 6th week because those are the really fun weeks but today everything didn't go smooth. So by that I mean my warm up was horrible. Uh, sorry, the, when I was squatting, uh, before I squat, I usually just grab the bar and start warming up that way. But before that, I was also doing mobility work. Mobility was going pretty good. Everything felt fine. Nothing felt out of the ordinary until I got to the squat rack. And when I unracked the bar, I felt my groin start to get tight. Now, I didn't feel that way when I was doing my warm up. It started to get, um, how do I say? It started to get warm. Uh, my body knows its movement pattern, but as soon as I put that bar on my back, whole new story. My groin started acting up. I looked at my foot placement. Everything was right where it needed to be. So, looking at the video, I do believe it looks like it's my knees. They're not tracking outward like they should be. So, that's all. That's my fault. I'm not blaming anything. Um, I should be more. I should be more aware of my body's movement, and so should you. So if something goes wrong. Look at the things that you're not doing. So for me. On the first set, I'm not pushing my knees out as hard as I used to. And also, um, how do I say this? I'm not staying as upright. So I'm showing a weakness in my quads. So I gotta develop my quads a lot more um, in the next cycle. So I'm gonna be working with a lot more volume on squats, especially front squats, to develop those little baby quads of mine. And that was about it. Uh, the first set was a bit of a grind. The first five reps were pretty hard. I wanted to get six or seven in there just to kind of get my body used to it. 210 pounds is pretty, that, that was easy for me back then. But now it's a, it's a killer. So it's, uh, I gotta do more stretching, more mobility, and also really and truly figure out what's going on with the groin. Hopefully it's nothing too, too bad. I'm just hoping it's a tight hip that's causing my groin to feel funny. Uh, so I could squat wide again. Um, before, I was squatting super wide when it comes to um, my low bar squat in uh, Olympic shoes. But now I'm squatting a little bit more narrow. Uh, just because of the, um, the tightness in the groin. Now the second set was pretty easy actually. 240 pounds for a triple. Relatively easy I would say. Same RPE as um, the first set. Uh, flew, I felt like it flew a little bit better. Um, the bar was a lot lighter. It just felt a lot lighter on my back. Now once I hit 260 pounds, that's when things started to feel really, really weird. Uh, I do have to add in the fact that it wasn't just fatigue that was getting to me, but also my mindset. Because of the tightness in the groin, it's telling me, oh, you can't do this. So my mind's going, no, you can't do this, it's not safe. But I just had to learn how to push through that and then solve the problem afterwards. So I did it for a double. I was only asked for one rep. I wanted to go for five. But again, that was uh, last night's plan. Today's plan was just basically just try to get through everything. It's just with the minimum. Just try to get through it, uh, relax, just and just try to do some volume work afterwards. And that's where squats just went downhill. And I stopped it from there. I tried to do uh, front squats um, with the straps, but my body just wasn't, it was not having it. It did not want to squat anymore. It just said, nope, that's it, that's done. Um, I called it from there. So as soon as squats were done, my confidence was already down. And at this point, I just wanted to go home. But I knew I had bench press and bench, with the confidence that I had in squats, carried over into bench now. Bench, I was getting really confident in the past five weeks because it just kept going up. Bench, it only missed the rep that I needed to hit sometimes, but other than that, uh, it's been going up. It's been progressing really well. Today, was another problem with bench press. This time, not my groin, but with my right shoulder. It was really tight. Now, I did mobilize my shoulder, but I guess with all that squatting, it started to tighten up without me realizing it. So even the bar, the bar felt funny. Um, 95 pounds felt funny, 135 felt funny. So I only did those for about anywhere between one to five reps. As soon as I hit my first working set, it wasn't too bad actually. I was saying RPE8, but other than that, it was pretty it was pretty taxing on me. Then I hit the second set, 185 for a triple. I only hit it for four the previous week. So it wasn't too bad. But again, with the uh, tightness in the shoulder, I had to massage that tightness out and just kind of work through it and just hopefully Again, if it feels funny, I want to stop the workout completely, but I got through it. 205 for a single. I wanted a triple on 205. I even brought the slingshot with me, but at the same time, my body just said no. I had to listen to my body, and 
uh, it's just one day, right? I, there's gonna be another day where I'm gonna hit 205 for a warm up at some point. So that's the lesson learned for today. Sometimes you just have to understand how your body works and just adapt and go with it. Uh, you could grind through your workout, but how much is it, like, you know, how much is it gonna pay off? Yeah, you can push through it now, but then later on it's gonna it might it may or may not backfire on you depending on how you recover. Personally, for me, if I push my body way beyond its limits, considering I'm just coming back and it's two months in, I'm back uh, from a six-week hiatus. It, I have to give my body that time. I'm in this for the long run, and so should you. Now, accessory work was basically the same as the last week, and I'm I'm not gonna change it up for Mondays because the accessory work feels really, really good. My shoulders feel good, my back feels good. But the only thing I did at the end was uh, kind of like a banded leg extension. So I sat on a box, tied the bands underneath, and just did a 100 rep leg extension. I just sat there nonchalant, just minding my own business. And you're just going with the motion. Because it's bands, it's not really weight, so it's not uh, changing your position, because um, it's just bands. Once I hit 80th rep, my quads are feeling it, and I had to pay attention to where my body was going to go. Because I'm just, when you're trying to do 100 reps, it kills. So 80 reps hits, I felt my quads on fire, they were crying. And the next 20 reps were the hardest 20 reps I had to do, but I had to push through it. But I got through it and I'm very happy with the progress that I am making. Even though it's just one bad day, there's gonna be another day where you're gonna achieve the same numbers, but much more efficiently and much better. But until then, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the content that I put out. Subscribe to the channel as well for more content. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. And also until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.